Hey there everybody, welcome back to the Finbear channel. Today we're going to go over Genesis Energy and its ticker is GEL, G-E-L. Uh, right now it is Sunday so we're getting ready for market open tomorrow morning and going through the whole week. So let's dive in and see what we possibly can expect for the week, barring anything crazy like global or news or what have you. But just a quick technical analysis chart review. So here we are on the weekly chart. Each candle consists of one week's worth of trading. Uh, as you can see here, we had a very strong week in Genesis uh, this past week. Uh, we actually hit a previous um, higher high going on from this lowest low, higher high, higher low, and now this took a little bit longer and now we're hitting to the point where we might get another higher high. Uh, it takes time. Remember, each of these candles is a week. Uh, you can also almost say that from this point right here, let me, let me remove this. This was when I was previously in it and um, I had my take profit points. Um, so here you can even say that this is its own trend where you had a lower low, higher high, lower low, I mean higher low, higher high. Uh, we did not get another higher low, we got more high. Uh, what I will say from looking at this is two things. First thing, we still have a lot of room to go. All these points right here, these double line points that I have are areas where this price action gapped down. Now you might not see it on trading view if you go down to the smaller candles because it repaints in some cases. And repainting means that it goes back and fixes the candles to make it all look right. Uh, but I am a gap hunter. I love looking for gaps. And this is why I originally got into this company because it was so gap ridden. I mean, a lot of gaps. This thing plummeted in, um, what was it? Right here in January. It actually was before then. I'm, it was September that the big moves happened, but, um, oh wait, sorry, I'm on the weekly calendar. So a lot happened, a lot happened to this poor company. Uh, so I believe overall this company is bullish. As long as their fundamentals stay strong, they're going to get back to this 2195 and close above it. Uh, so that's what I personally feel. Um, so that's the one thing I see. Second thing I see is I don't know if right now is when you would want to enter if you are not already in it. Um, yes, right now the area is super, super overbought. It's at 7904. It could possibly run a little bit more. Um, but don't be surprised if you see price action go up a smidge. And when I say a smidge, it could go up 20, 50 cents but the RSI will possibly go down because again, it is an overbought territory. There is still room for it to breathe. It's at 79.04. RSI goes all the way to the hundred technically. Um, although this stock, it does not appear to have ever seen it go as high as it has currently. This has been a solid run for that RSI. Um, and it, and it, it probably needs a little bit of time to breathe and reset. Um, and even if it doesn't right now and it continues to run this week, be, I, I personally would not re-enter until it breathes again. Um, <clears throat> just because I want to be smart and be prepared for all this. But this is almost we got some scalping action here, which is really awesome. Uh, as you can see here as well on the weekly, the stock is actually flatlining at just at teetering and overbought territory. So that's just a thought I have. Now, unless we, I didn't look, but if there is some big news happening this week, it could be a catalyst to push it forward and push that stock and that RSI into more overbought territory. Then I would probably be more interested, like, oh, okay, then get in now. But right now, as it stands, I personally would wait. <clears throat> let's see, let's look at the hourly. And remember, the weekly count candles and those larger candles, so those larger time frame candles, are what drives ultimately the price of things. These smaller candles, and I mean smaller by interval, uh, the shorter time frame candles, they are a great indicator to help you figure out when to enter a trade. Uh, because you don't want to enter a trade, for example, all the way up here, if prices go down because it's been building up steam like crazy, you might want to enter a trade once it's down here before like during a consolidation phase. Uh, that's my personal preference. Some people say buy during the rip. Some people say buy during a dip. I buy during consolidation so I can see what's going to happen and get a better idea of what's going next. I, I play it safe. <clears throat> so as you see here, these are the hourly candles and it has been a steady, steady move going up. Goodness gracious, Genesis, you just keep on trucking. Let's look at this trend line real quick so we can see. So this might be a little bit off because I've not zoomed in. 
But here's our trend line going up. And then we're going to touch right here. I know that goes right through the center of those three and barely touches those. But this is a strong, strong upward consolidation for me that it hits multiple candles at once and it touches here and it might touch down here. So price action might touch 1220, possibly pre-market. Uh, if it goes below this trend line, that's probably it's laying off the gas. It's redlining. It needs to breathe. Um, as you can see here, uh, price action has gone higher yet RSI, which was really high here is not as high here. It took a dip and then went higher. And now if RSI can breaks this low, let's see if it already has. I love charts. I really do. Uh, There's something really awesome about it. it. Makes me feel like I, I have a chance at, you know, figuring all this stuff out. All right. So <clears throat> if this, if RSI drops below this line, you have confirmation of divergence, right? And divergence we already discussed is when RSI has a, um, it hits its highest high right here, followed by a lower high, but price action continues to get a higher high. That is a signal of an impending bearish move, which we already have discussed because look at this going, doing this, although it's, he it's steady and healthy and it's not straight up, it still needs time to breathe. There's not a lot of red candles here. It needs to let off the gas just a little bit and then it's going to keep on trucking. Uh, Statch here is also showing a sign that it's probably getting, it has crossed actually, it has crossed at this point. Um, if Statch goes below this point, it will also confirm what we're seeing here and what we're seeing here. And it will probably consolidate to possibly around where these blue lines are um, at the top of it because this was a gap, a gap that was closed. And here is the next gap coming up. I hope this video was helpful for you. I hope that um, I broke it down in a good way that is digestible and you guys understand. Uh, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Please don't forget to comment so we can build our community and discuss these things together because there are things that you might know that I haven't caught. I am here to learn from you as much as you are here to learn from me. This is a, a, a nice weave of knowledge going on here. That is so awesome that I love that technology is allowing us to do so we all have a chance to make generational wealth for ourselves. Uh, have an amazing day. Have an awesome week. And let's go make some money.